my name is Kevin Saris. I'm from Air Hairdressing in Malvern, and I'm here today to take you through some blow drying techniques. Um, the first of which is cat's hair, a nice textured, graduated bob. It's got a little bit of natural wave and movement at the roots. So the key will be to kind of get some height through the crown, get some lift, and then obviously get these front sections smooth. And I'm going to achieve this with the use of brushes. Because I think too much today, we rely on blast drying hair and just straightening it with straighteners. So we want to teach you some classic skills in blow drying and you'll get the same effect. The key to any blow drying is using the right product to start with. So for this style, we're going to need some lift, but also we want some smoothness. So I'm going to use a mousse to get some lift. So again, got some mousse. But also I'm going to use a shine product, again, to give it... So this is called Smooth Glow, and that will tend to give it some, some shine as well. So I'm going to mix those together. So one will give it lift, and the other will give it smoothness. So I'm mixing those two products together. Again, got your mousse, and you've got your shine product. Mix that together. Again, work through from roots to ends. Especially around this hairline area, this is where you tend to get a lot of the frizz of the hairs naturally curly. Right, and the next thing really is the sectioning of the hair. It's so, so important. Okay, rather than using a comb, what I tend to do is literally use the grip, use the clip and just section that section off there. It's always important as well that you use a, get a strong blow dryer that's got some, some good washage. This one's got like a 3,200 watts, so this has got some, a lot of power and a lot of heat to it. If you're trying to blow dry your hair with a, with a dryer that hasn't got much strength or, or heat, you could be there all day. So it's important to have the, the right tools as well. I'm going to start to, I'm using a small round brush in, this, in at the nape area. Just in the nape, what I'm, what I'm tempted to do is just to smooth that into the, smooth the hair into the nape. As I come up further up the hair, it's going to give that a little bit more root lift. So roots to ends. Again, you can see the shine in there. Okay, take another section now. Slightly bigger brush. These, these brushes are broad bristle and they tend to really grip the hair well. So you can see roots to ends, getting that nice shine. Just at this point, this is where I start to, start to lift the hair. This is important that it grips the hair, and this is where it's going to get that, that smoothing effect. Again, I'm pulling out the brush at right angles. So what I really want is I want root lift, but then I want to get it, I want to see it straight on the ends. So again, straight down on the ends. So you can start to see that shape build up now. Again, brush in. You can see, blow drying really is about tension, keeping plenty of tension on the brush. Don't be afraid to pull the hair. Keeping the, the nozzle of the dryer directed onto the hair as well. You can see by the power of this dryer, I'm not having to hold the nozzle too close to the hair. Which means, again, it's not going to burn the hair and it's not going to dry the hair out. Turn it around. Again, you can see I'm just sectioning with the clips. Because in a commercial environment in the salon, you don't always have time to put the dryer down, section with a comb, pick the dryer up. So 
Again, you can see I'm pulling the hair now as a more of an angle to get even more root lift and get a, that bit of height in the hair. And through the side. And just smoothing that section there. So you can see we've got plenty of shine in the hair. So we've got root lift and we've got shine. This is from our products. Again, working up onto the crown area now. So again, you can see that lift in the hair. Okay, I'm just working onto the sides now. And a bit more downward motion on the on the brush, you want the straightness. And you can see pulling the hair out at right angles and smoothing down with the dryer. Again, the dryer is not right on top of the brush because the power of the dryer is just pushing the hair onto the brush. And again, although I'm using a round brush, I'm actually not turning it under, just straightening it over. And I'm back up in this crown area now where I want to just give it a little bit of lift, extra height. Blow drying is about product, tension, and root lift. over some sections that you've already done to smooth through. Small sections of the leaf. And although I'm using a round brush, again, just using it for smoothing rather than turning it under. we come up onto the crown area again. You can see I'm giving it plenty of root lift. And then straighter on the ends. Now yeah, we're coming to the top section, so I'm just going to take this back. So I don't want really too much of a parting. I want to really to create like a half parting, so I'm going to take most of that back on the crown. And a bit of root lift to give it direction. And 
to blow dry it back. Okay, when it comes to the front section, you want to kind of drag this across the face a little bit. You can get your direction of your brush, goes into the roots, and then just pull it across. Again, straightening as you go. Next section, this is where it's key to have small sections really. So you get the brush close into the roots. going to pull this fringe through from an off centre passing. Little, little touches. If you didn't want to get an extra little bit of height in the crown, there's a, quite a clever little way of achieving that. It's just by a little bit of back combing. So you literally just take a section of hair, find the section of the comb, and literally just push back one, two. You can see it's just lifted out the hair a little bit. Again, find section of the comb, one, two. You can lift that through. I mean, traditionally, people feel that backcombing has to start at the top and you frantically push away the hair. It's not like that, or it doesn't have to be like that. You can, again, you just want to get close in the roots. It's really just agitating the roots a little bit, just to hold the hair. So again, one, two. And again, you can just pull that back out. And I kind of just smooth that hair in then. Then you can use a little bit of finishing product. I've got, um, I've got like a soft wax here, which again will give it some gloss. So again, just taking a little bit of product. Got to be work it evenly through the hand. So again, a nice shine product. And you can kind of just work it up through the root. Just push it around towards it. And then your back comb will stay in that you've put in and you can just dress these little lengths out then at the front just give it some definition and we're done <laughs>